You're in New York right now. Obviously, you are representing Chicago, Naperville uh, specifically. How are you feeling just a few days before this contest? Days leading up, it's this strange mix of excitement because we're hanging out with all these people that we love. Like the, the eater community is a family. Um, but then there's this, this also underlying like nausea of like, I'm about to shove wieners down my face for 10 minutes in front of a massive crowd. And uh, that brings some feelings with it. So nervous, it's like a happy nervous, I guess. Even right now, I feel kind of that nervous angst. And I know it'll, it'll come and go in waves throughout. I mean, literally till probably the contest starts. So. But it's great. It's it's wonderful to be back and feel like you know normal again after missing out last year. Last year. What's ironic about all of this? You both are in the health and wellness industry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The stereotype of competitive eaters is that you know you see us do these contests and people are like, well, you clearly eat like that every day all the time, obviously. But that's really not the case. Like we take very good care of ourselves the rest of the time. We eat food as fuel for your body. It's it's a way to make sure that you're strong and healthy. Yeah, if we ate hot dogs every day, we die. Uh, that's, you I mean, die, you know, like sure. high blood pressure, <laughs> cholesterol, et cetera. So we take very good care of ourselves so that we can do these contests and, and you know, feel good afterwards. But yeah, the rest of the time we eat like chicken and broccoli and, and oatmeal. We're very Salads, lame the rest yeah. of the time. <laughs> so what goes into preparing for this? I mean, you say you're healthy eaters, but it's, I mean, don't you have to, I guess, um, or, or I, I don't want to assume here, but do you hold like many competitions at home together? How do you prepare for such a intense competition like this? Anytime you're doing a contest, there are two pieces to it. One, you need to have technique and two, you need to have capacity. So the technique is do I understand how to eat a hot dog? Which I know sounds bananas because <laughs> everyone's like, yeah, you put it in your mouth. That's how you eat it. But to do it quickly and safely, you have to you have to figure out the technique. So yes, you do have to practice occasionally doing real runs. But the big bulk is also understanding that your stomach needs to have the space to put those hot dogs down. So everybody has a different training technique and I'll let Juan talk about his. For me, I eat high volume, um, low calorie foods packed with water on top of it. So I'll eat giant salads, big bowls of cauliflower, and then I put water or diet soda on it to actually press the against the wall of my stomach, pressing a little bit more. And I weigh, I weigh it. And every time you're trying to get just a few more grams, a few more ounces to, to press and push your stomach out so you can fit more in there. I prefer to drink as much water as possible in, you know, in this case, the 10 minute period to simulate the contest. Um, it's called water training. Uh, many of the eaters okay. do it. Uh, you just try, or I like to simulate the contest. I know others just try to go as much as possible, as fast as possible. And prior to coming here, we were cooking up hot dogs every other day, simulating 10 minutes to get our techniques down. Um, so we don't have that luxury here. Being in the hotel, we're just fine. So we'll just, you know, I'll chew on packs of gum uh, at a time to help, you know, work to continue to work my jaw strength. Hmm. Some of us like to chew ice on it. Everyone has a little thing. Um, I prefer packs of gum, you know, stocked up over here <laughs> underneath our, you know, on our nightstands. So that's one way of doing it. And then, you know, just trying to make sure we're rested. We feel good. We eat light, you know, these next couple of days. And then, you know, Sarah likes to fast the night before. I, I mean, I try not to because that, but you fast too long, then your body, your stomach will just con 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 contract really fast the moment you put mm -hmm. one hot dog in. So you got to find that sweet spot. How many years have you both been doing this for? Because I know this is, isn't this how you met? This is how we met. <laughs> so this is, this will be my fourth year. And I actually met him my first year here. And uh, I, I met him and I remember telling my girlfriend, I was like, oh my God, there's this tool here. Like maybe I'll make out with him, but like, there's no way anything's <laughs> going to happen. And yada, 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 here we are. And we're married. And for the record, the tool is just my character. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I'm normally a nice guy. You're there in New York. We wish the competition obviously was here in Chicago, but for our viewers who are going to see this, what kind of pride are you taking with you to this competition? Me personally, I always try to represent by having the stars, the you know, the Chicago visual on me. So like I have the stars on my vest that I'll be walking wearing out. I always just try and be a presence for the women. Women are super underrepresented in the contest. We're super underrepresented as a whole. They only show the women on ESPN3, which means you have to log in through a laptop. Like we're not even on, we eat on the same stage 
30 minutes prior. They literally clean it off and they don't show us. And I want it to be normalized. Nice. That, like you can eat, you can enjoy, you shouldn't like food is fuel and it's, it's one day. And you know, I bet there's a ton of good eaters out there that are women that would crush it. They're just, you know, we're not seeing, you don't even see us on the contest. So if I can get women faces out there and encourage them to like show up and try, I, you know, maybe next year we'll be on ESPN instead of relegated to ESPN the Ocho. How can we watch? Where can we watch? The women are going to be on, it'll be, I guess, 1030 a.m. Central Standard Time on ESPN3, which basically you go to ESPN.com forward slash watch, and it should be right there. It'll sh- it would say Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest Women. Perfect. And then the men will be 30 minutes later on ESPN proper 